Are you watching news with me, Meher Sheikh? Let's begin with the top headlines. Legendary singer Lata Mangeshkar was admitted to the Mumbai's Breach Candy Hospital in the early hours of Monday. The singer was admitted to the hospital after she complained of breathing difficulties. Lata Mangeshkar's niece, Rachana, said that Lata is now on the road to recover and is stable. A massive protest broke out today outside the Jawaharlal Nehru University in Delhi as hundreds of students blocked roads near the campus and raised slogans amid heavy police presence, claiming that the Vice Chancellor Mamidala Jagadesh Kumar has turned down repeated requests to meet them and discuss recent hostel fee hike. Protesters claim that the university has hiked the hostel fee by nearly 300%, which will affect an overwhelming number of students. In a would-be fatal accident, two trains collided head-on at Kachiguda station in Telangana's Hyderabad. According to South Central Railway officials, MMTS train rammed into Kongu Express, which was waiting at the platform. The mishap reportedly took place due to a fault. In the signal, at least 10 people were injured, who are now being treated. Rajya Sabha Chairman and Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu has called the leaders of parties, groups in the House at his residence on 17th November. Ahead of the winter session of the Parliament, the winter session commences on 18th November. After a bit of respite, Delhiites are yet again gasping for breath as a haze engulfs the Delhi and CR region. Delhi's air quality plunged to very poor on Monday. The overall quality index was recorded at 331. Government Air Quality Monitoring Services Safar has claimed that the city's air quality was expected to turn severe by Tuesday. Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee today conducted aerial survey of areas affected by Cyclone Bulbul. The state reported seven human casualties damages to about one lakh houses and standing crops due to the cyclone. Around 350 people from Bencha village have taken shelter in Balasore district in Odisha after cyclonic storm Bulbul created havoc in the region. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates.